Good morning, loved ones. How are you? Hi. Listen, I just came here real quick. I want y'all to drop down there and hit the like button. Mm -hmm. But what I really want y'all to do is go over to Brian's page, right? It's on my community board. I'm about to share it again so it's at the top. Yesterday, there was a brawl on these YouTube streets, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Mother, it was Mother's Day in December. You know how they have Christmas in July? Mm -hmm. It was Mother's Day in December, y'all. If y'all don't know who Mother is, Mother is James Caldwell, mm -hmm, a.k.a. Trejor Lane, Malone Trejor. Mm -hmm. So he had took his ass over to Brian's tiny house in his tiny little car. He drove over there to tell Brian how fat he is and how Brian can't fit into a tiny house and how Brian ain't shit and how Brian is ashamed of who he is and how Brian is an f -E -O. I don't understand why gay men call each other the F-word. It's so rude. It's like, when you, and you're doing it to be derogatory and hateful. It makes no sense at all. Anyway, so Brian was in the house sleep, right? So Brian was sick yesterday, but Brian had got wind of what was going on. He's like, who the fuck is at my door calling my name, wanting me to come out into these streets and whoop their ass? So Brian had came out, y'all. And let me tell y'all something. When Brian got done with James Caldwell's ass, there was glitter and tiny cocktail dresses and two small shoes and just wigs all over the motherfucking street, okay? Listen, so James has said that Brian got mental illness and that Brian is ashamed of who he is as far as sexually and all kind of other bullshit. First of all, <clears throat> James didn't know that he was fat too, so Brian dragged him for filth, said he's a linebacker in a goddamn cocktail dress with some two little shoes, a size 18, um, squozing into a size 10. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was hilarious, yo. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna tell y'all, I was at work screaming in the motherfucking file room. I had to go in the file room. It was like, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, everything is fine, bitch. Oh, I got my life yesterday. It was like an hour and a half video, two hours. I listened to that entire shit. I'm about to go back and listen to it again today. Go watch that video. It is hilarious. You know, it's funny because when people don't know who the fuck they are, they say the dumbest shit about other people. I told y'all, I was saying that last week. People don't know who they are. They say all kind of shit and they always talking about their damn self. But I'm going to tell you, James got dragged for motherfucking filth. He got his ass whooped yesterday. Mother got fucked up, okay? Mm -hmm. Motherfuck nigga got his ass whooped yesterday. <laughs> Woo! He need The cleanup man had to be cleaned up. He was in pieces all over the YouTube streets yesterday, y'all. If you don't believe me, go watch. Don't believe me, go watch. Don't believe me, go watch. You want to get your life today. You want to have a funny ass morning. You want to clean... You want to black out, you sad, you crying, you missing somebody, go watch that shit. Okay, because the cleanup man was in motherfucking pieces on the YouTube street yesterday. All his shit. <laughs> Dresses shredded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wigs burned, honey. Mm -hmm. Fucking Brian said, what he said that James mixed cocoa and oatmeal to make foundation? Yo. Because there's a part two. So the video is called Just James Stop. There's James Stop, Stop Part One, James Stop Part Two. But the shit is hilarious. Okay, talk about the ass whooping. What a way to go out. Now they just need to take this L and go on about their business. Because I've heard some people in here talking about, oh, James Drag Brian. If you think James Drag Brian, that's because you a dick rider, A. Eh? Or, or the other A is that you didn't see Brian's video. Cause ain't no way in hell James dragged anybody. James got his ass whooped and handed to him yesterday. If you keep in the real, see, because there's nothing like reading a motherfucker for facts. Okay, cause there were no lies told. Every fucking thing that was said about him was true. And it was really funny because Brian was trying to maintain, you know, some kind of, you know, like, he's like, you know, James, but I still like you. But as he's listening to the video, cause mind you, he's doing a live reaction. Someone must have woken him up cause Brian was sick. And as he's listening to it, it's like, wait, what, motherfucker? What did you say? Excuse me, bitch? Who are you talking to, motherfucker? You don't know who you are. I mean, hilarious. Because it was just live, and it was raw, and it was real, and it was the motherfucking truth. See, the problem, a lot of people around here just sit around bitches who tell them what they want to hear all day, all day. Tell them how great they are, and these motherfuckers believe this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm the greatest. He, he, mother fuck nigga had the nerve to say that Brian is not funny and Brian is not entertaining let me tell you something that may be your opinion that may be you what are you doing that's funny and entertaining at least he's bringing in some news things going on 
uh, relating it to some shit. See, because other people can think outside the box. Like I said, motherfuckers can't relate to that. Small-minded people. Some motherfuckers just cannot think beyond third grade. And it is what it is. And I'm seeing, as I was watching the video, Brian was surprised at how fucking ignorant James really is and how fucking catty and childish that he can be. Because the shit and the points and the things that James was saying weren't making any sense because the shit applied to you. When he broke it down for him, because James was saying that um, Brian suffers from mental illness, and, <laughs> and Brian was like, who's the motherfucker that's crazy? You the nigga out here, your big linebacker ass in a fucking cocktail dress. Right, you look like a whole man. He said, you a whole linebacker in a fucking dress, and you talking about I got mental illness. Who's the crazy motherfucker? Mm-hmm, like I said, don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, go watch. Go watch. It's a lot of that bullshit going on. Mm -hmm. So I'm down to the Wendy's, I'm getting my car serviced. So I just wanted to pop in and make sure y'all know to go watch that shit, okay? And let me tell y'all something else. I had a blessing in my life, like, so <clears throat> I was like, cause you know when I had got this job, I told y'all that this job, you know, they get on my motherfucking nerves over there. The benefits is good, but they get on my nerves. But anywho, I was like, I had took a cut and pay. So I'm like, damn, you know, now I got to get back to the grind and everything. You know, y'all know I took a loss and everything. So, you know, it's time to get shit moving again. Whatever. That, 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 that. that chapter of my life is over. It's time to move forward. So I told y'all, I don't like applying for shit because usually if I go, I'm going to get the, and I need to be ready. So on Sunday, I was out at the park walking with my friend and shit. And I was like, yo, I got to get a part-time job. And I, originally I was like, I only need like, you know. I just need a little part-time job where I could just make like 200 extra dollars a week or whatever. But anyway, so I went home, I was filling out some applications. Do y'all know by motherfucking Wednesday I had me a job, y'all? And not only that, that motherfucker pays me damn near as much as I make at my daytime job. I'm gonna make that on the weekend. God is so good. I'm telling y'all, put out good energy and good things will come back to you. Blessings are real. Karma and energy is fucking real. I mean, I, 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 I'm mind blown. I feel so blessed. I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful, but I'll always give back too. But um, do good. Put out good energy. It, it definitely comes back to you. And don't get involved in other people's fuck shit. You know what I peeped too, y'all? I was cool with somebody on here, right? So what I noticed is that they don't really fuck with me no more. But I noticed they don't fuck with me based on some other bitches. Y'all be blocking y'all blessings not being friendly with people because of someone else. If you can't be friends with who you want to be friends with, those people are not really your friends. Because I let my people do that. I don't give a fuck who you friends with. And that's in real life too. And the other funny shit is my friends don't even know each other. All y'all friends know each other and got to hang out with each other and got to like each other. That's some weird shit. My friends don't know each other. I'm friends with a lot of people. Some of them know each other and we don't even know that they know each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll be like, oh, shit, you know this person. You know that. Oh, that's my love. They like, oh, my God, I love D. Right. Because I, I I can't be friends with them based on you and your likes and your opinions. and your, What the fuck is going on here? Some of y'all really needs to grow up. I'm telling you, you'll miss your blessing fucking with other people. What's for you is for you. There are people who are designed and put in your life specifically to uplift and enhance your being. But if you don't fuck with somebody based on somebody else, you could easily miss your blessing. And that's why a lot of y'all are stuck and don't have shit. I'm telling y'all, anything I ever speak on is given to me. Now, see, the funny shit is I talk about these things with my coworker. Me and her sit face to face like... And so she's always amazed by, damn, everything you ask for, that's right. Everything I speak on, it comes, right? When I be asking the universe for questions and God tell me what, what's really good, it hit me. Boom, there it goes, there it goes. Things fall out the sky. But you got to be putting out good energy in order to receive good energy and these blessings. They're not just going to happen for you when you out here doing fuck shit, okay? And you on motherfuck nigga shit, it ain't going to happen for you, all right? But yes, I feel really good because I need this money, y'all. Because I abused my guy. Let me tell y'all. Y'all, I think y'all remember I had paid off all my credit cards. And then I don't I got a fucking problem. I do. But anyway, this way I could pay this shit off in a short amount of time. Probably like in damn a month or so. Because I didn't go too crazy. But I had no business being disrespectful to my credit the way I did. <laughs> no business. Um, But yeah, so I'm just glad that I'm blessed. So I can get... 
I'm gonna make a whole lot doing not that much. You know what I'm saying? In a short amount of time, and that's what's up, and that's awesome. And I need that shit. Cause I gotta help out my peoples. Y'all know how real queens help out they peoples. Y'all know what else is wild? This is what I have peep. And it may be like this in your family too, right? Isn't it something how the people who have the most shit, you can't ask them for nothing? You can go ask your cousin Ray Ray. You can go ask the motherfucker who getting food stamps. You can ask your cousin who barely got shit or your aunt, whoever. They're going to give it to you. You can get anything from them. But the motherfuckers who are well off and supposedly have all this property and own all these things and got all this excess money and shit like that. Y'all ever notice those are the main motherfuckers you can't say shit to? You can't ask them for nothing. You don't even feel comfortable asking them for something if you need it. Because I, the reason why I thought about it was one day my little cousin had called me. And the little cousin who called me, he should have been able to call one of my other relatives because his mama really looked out for this relative, right? And his mom is deceased. And it's beyond me why this motherfucker don't look out for him like he should. He should be looking out for him like he's his son too. But you know, they don't. He, I don't mind helping him, but I just noticed that when it happened. And I'm like, damn, that shit is wild. I also noticed how my uncle... He can do everything for his son. I mean, this nigga done gave his son Mercedes, all kind of shit, right? But if somebody else in the family do something for their kid, it's like, oh, they always got to help their children or this, this, that, and the other. Like, just hypocritical type bullshit. Like, people need to do fucking better, you know what I mean? But I just think it's really wild, like I said, that a family member, the motherfuckers who got it, got it cake in it and shit. Nobody can't ask y'all for shit. It's just, you know, like I said... But call the cousin who getting food stamps. They're going to go out their way. They'll borrow that shit from somebody else to give it to you with some shit. You know what I'm saying? But the people who got it are just on some bullshit. But I ain't like that. I fuck with people. If I got, if I, if I fucks with you, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yes. Put out good energy so you'll get it back. Take your ass over there. Because James got that ass whooping that he has been asking for for a minute. A minute. Let me tell you something. Everything Brian said about that motherfucker was true. Everything everything and hopefully james will listen to it i get sick of people sitting around him telling him how he's better than everybody and he's the greatest of all times and why based on what based on what don't nobody give a fuck about them numbers let me tell you all there's a lady on here her name is um is it uh, tasty something i'll post her video too matt but her name is madeline and this bitch is a nurse but she cook and i'm gonna tell y'all she got a video. She could put a video up right now. She'll have about 290,000 views in about 10 minutes. So that's that's cake and bitch. That, those are numbers. This shit we doing over here. And I ain't going to even say we because I don't even get involved and get that serious in it. Because I feel like it is the devil in a sense. You know how y'all talk about the music industry and how the music industry destroys people and turns them into the worst. This is what YouTube does to a lot of motherfuckers. So I don't fuck with it. It's like devil. It's touched by the devil. Trust me. It's touched by the devil. You can tell by a lot of the, all the negativity, how black people, how we destroy each other, how we tear each other down, and then we want to talk about what white people do. Then you hear these same motherfuckers over here talk about how we need to stand together. But meanwhile, you just tore down 27 bitches, but now we need to stand together when it's a cause that you want to fight for. Fuck you. Right. I watch this bullshit. I listen to the shit that people be saying. It's all bullshit. And some of this shit is just so stupid. We bigger and we better than that. Okay, question, ladies. Listen to this. So the other day, I was like, this is the day before I got my new job. I'm telling you, the universe will speak to you. And I saw my kid's father that night in a dream. He came to me clear as day. I know it was him because my mama don't come to me. And before my mother died, I asked her, I said, Ma, you going to visit me when, I, when you die? She said, hell no. She was like, my spirit, my body has been through too much on this earth. I ain't coming back. So, you know, I, see, I feel her and sense her in other ways. But I saw my baby daddy that night. Okay. Anyway. So the next day, you know, I had left. I was upset because I went, you know, I went to see my daughter and the baby and everything. And, you know, she just had a baby and her daddy held her down hardcore. So that's my responsibility now to step up and do that shit. Whatever he did, I'm going to do. You know what I mean? I had already claimed that. So I was like, thank God I got this job or whatever. But anyway, I was upset or whatever and I was looking down. So I go into the, um, I go to the gas station and shit. So I see this dude when I'm walking in, but I thought he was one of the Middle Easterners, you know, because he got that funny skin tone. But then when I looked at him, me and him have like the kind of the same, you know, look going on. But anywho, 
so nice, you know, on my way out, he like followed me out and he's like, I'm sorry, I don't normally do this, but you know, he wanted to get my number and all of this shit. So I gave my number, we talking or whatever. But do y'all know this motherfucker? That's how old he is, y'all. 34. And so it was weird because he really didn't ask me my age either. So last night when we was talking, I was like, um, you know, you didn't ask how old I was. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to tell you or whatever. I said, I'll tell you later. And he's like, nah, like, you know, whatever. Because we around the same age, right? And no, we're not. I'm fucking 49. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not. But he's cute. He's funny. He's smart. He got all his own shit. And he was excited. And I felt bad because he was like, I don't have no kids. Like, bitch, we can get together. We can have kids. No, we can't. Okay, because I am a grandmother. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I'm going to kick it with him, though. Fuck it. Ain't nothing else going on. And you know what? Somebody who's different. He's different. He's not like the, uh, he's fine and he's sexy too. But y'all know, I told y'all, y'all could put me in a room. And yeah, I think, you know, I'm getting a, a porn star vibe off his ass though. So yeah, that might be the other attraction. And I'm trying to get away from that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, he's a young, young buck. But what do y'all think? Like, should I just tell him my age or should I just wait? Because he doesn't mind not knowing. He said, whatever, he don't care. But he thought I was his age, but I'm not. So should I just let it ride? I might just let it ride. But eventually he'll find out that I have grandchild, a grandchild. So that makes me an older G, you know. But I think it's cute and I'm flattered. <laughs> okay. But you know, I, it's funny that I don't meet older dudes. I guess it ain't for me, you know. Could y'all see me with somebody 66? No. Or a ZX? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm all in the windy showing my ass. My bad. That's hilarious. These motherfuckers on here talking about they 45 and they 49. Oh, y'all know what? I saw a picture of Olivia the Oracle the other day, right? Now, I always be like, Olivia ain't no 49. But somebody, I believe it was that Suge dude, right? He had put up some pictures of her to shame her. But in reality, those pictures of her were good pictures of her. I was like, okay, okay, I see it now. So what it is, Olivia has this picture of herself and these glasses on and this wig. It's like a, a curly wig. L Livy, take that shit out of rotation, honey. That's not a good representation of you. Them other bad pictures that, the alleged bad pictures they put up of you, those are good pictures of you. You look your age in those pictures. That picture, I'm like, Livy ain't no motherfucker 49. That bitch ain't 49. Y'all need to stop lying. But when I saw them other pictures on that zoo um, wall, I was like, okay, all right. Olivia does not look that old. So yeah, Liv. Kill that other picture with that motherfucking wig and them glasses. That shit is not doing you justice. And it's not just Olivia. A lot of y'all got to stop wearing them motherfucking wigs. A lot of them wigs is holding a lot of y'all down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 A lot of them wigs are fucked up. Right. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are. Because they do sit off on your head. They. I don't wear them. My head too big. I can't wear them. I barely wear hats. I only got this hood on. It's cold as shit out here. I'm at the car dealership getting my car service. So I'm at the Wendy's down the street. Um, chilling. My hands are freezing. I got me a strawberry lemonade, though. I wasn't really thinking, I guess. Yeah, right, you know? But, yeah. So, go watch the James Caldwell beat down. Motherfucker. Motherfucker nigga. No, what is it? <laughs> go watch motherfucker nigga get his ass whooped by Brian. Okay. Brian, shout out to Brian. I love Brian. Brian is hilarious. James said Brian got split personalities. Brian's like motherfuckers called a character, but what's hilarious is that James can't recognize his, recognize Brian does characters, but meanwhile you come out dressed as a whole nother motherfucking person and a whole nother name, but you can't see it for Brian. But you you see you don't see in yourself what you're doing. This is the problem with people on here. So when you talk about mental illness, is that mental illness that you don't know who the fuck you are? But can try to point out some shit in someone else Like I said how is it that you calling him out Talking about oh he got split personalities And you come out as a whole nother motherfucker <laughs> Yo when I tell you I mean To the people with common sense Brian said everything that you were ever thinking You know what I'm saying It is what it is And the thing about it is This is what people fail to realize if you agree with Brian, what Brian was saying, it doesn't mean that you don't like James. I think that's where people get it confused. Like, the truth is the truth. It doesn't matter whether you like the motherfucker or not. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, I like James. We ain't asked you if you like the motherfucker. Okay? Is the truth being told, bitch? 
Is James dressed as a whole nother motherfucker? And Brian said his motherfucking name is not Trezor Milan. His name is Bertha or Wilma. Because Trezor Milan is for someone who is cute or got it going on. And we know that it's not motherfucking motherfuck nigga James Caldwell. Okay. All right. But y'all have a good day. Go check it out. Check out Brian. Y'all can go watch the Trezor Lane clean up too if you want to. But like I said, James had to be cleaned up because he was torn in pieces all over these motherfucking YouTube streets. I mean, ripped to goddamn shreds. It was arms and legs and toes and wigs and glitter and lipstick. Oh, t-shirts. It was a hot mess. Chicken legs, drums. Oh, oh, it was a hot mess. Mm, 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 mm. Good thing James can sell. He can put himself back together, I guess. But his friends around him need to really get a hold of him and gather him and tell the truth. But how is it that you can tell the truth about another motherfucker but can never recognize anything truthful about yourself? Go figure. It was ugly, y'all. I mean ugly. Mm -hmm. See y'all later. Y'all have a good day. I'll give it y'all deuces.